birthdays today. Actress Morgan Fairchild is 39. Actress Blythe Danner, 46. Sportscaster Fran Tarkenton is 49. Comedian Shelley Berman is 63. And comedian Joey Bishop is 71. The Insider gives columnist Liz Smith a 10 for her item today about two Broadway legends, producer George Abbott and music master Irving Berlin. Liz says Abbott telephoned Berlin and the conversation went like this. Irving, there is a show I want to do and you should write the music for it. Berlin replied, George, I'd love to do it, but I'm just too busy. The ET Insider is very impressed because George Abbott will be 102 years old in June and Irving Berlin, come May, will be 101. And, holy sex scene, Batman, you finally hit the sack. The Insider reads with interest an exclusive report in the London tabloid Sun that Batman will end his 50 years of celibacy in his new movie. The Sun says Batman, played by Michael Keaton, will be lured into the bat bed by Kim Basinger. Wham, bam, pow, zap. The Sun quotes an unidentified worker on the movie set. He's waited 50 years for a chance to prove he's as good in bed as he is at fighting villains. The E.T. Insider plans to have a front row seat in an effort to pick up some bat habits. Ooh! 30 years ago today, rock stars Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the big bopper J.P. Richardson were killed in the crash of a small plane. Statues of the three rock pioneers were unveiled today in Beaumont, Texas, where Richardson had once been a disc jockey. Friends and family of the singers came to Beaumont, Texas for the unveiling of this statue of the three stars. And although Buddy Holly was the biggest commercial success, Holly's widow seemed pleased to share the spotlight with his colleagues. You have been so proud in such good company. Veteran actress Julie Harris is on the road starring in Driving Miss Daisy, a consciousness-raising play about a feisty widow and her black chauffeur. The tour includes stops at high schools, which seem to benefit both the audience and the cast. Children, I think their reactions are so honest, and, and you, you have to just be real. Some of the best young dancers in Los Angeles took part in a national tap dance challenge. Gregory Hines, who stars in the movie Tap, was one of the judges. I was stealing steps from everybody. Harris Lake Tahoe combines the best of Broadway with some Olympic gold for their new show, Broadway on Ice, starring Scott Hamilton. Uh, Scotty, it's great to see you doing well, and that's it for us for today. And speaking of Scotty, he did skate his way into the hearts of Americans and Olympic gold, and he's putting the icing on the cake this week for us with more of his Lake Tahoe show of Broadway classics. Take care, have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday.